Hey everyone, this is Leo Bont back once again for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog and this time I'm taking a look at the Meccano Mechanoid 2.0 personal robot. Of course this is the smaller two foot tall version. You may have already seen my review of the four foot XL or extra large bot. Uh, so this is kind of like his little brother you might say. Uh, anyway, while the mechanoid carries on in the background a little bit here, I'm just going to run through a few pertinent details of this toy, but I'll especially focus on what's different between this little bot and the larger XL version, beginning with the fact that the XL version comes with his own rechargeable battery pack, whereas the little bot here requires four D-sized batteries to operate. So, while this guy may initially involve less of an investment than the bigger mechanoid, you might find that it runs a little bit expensive in battery replacement costs over time. So that could be something to consider with this. Now, another difference, of course, is bound to be the build time and effort involved in putting this bot together. With 497 parts to assemble, which I just noticed is down from about 600 parts with last year's smaller mechanoid, uh, still he's got less than half the parts of the XL version from this year, which has about 1,014, I think. So obviously a much quicker build. It took me in the neighborhood of three to four hours altogether to get this guy put together. And of course, he's meant for kids ages 10 and up. Anyway, I would suggest giving yourself plenty of time to complete the build on this guy, maybe anywhere from 3 or 4 all the way up to as much as 10 or so hours, and that is simply because there are so many different factors that can affect how fast that everything really comes together. For example, if you discover that you've made a mistake somewhere along the line and you have to backpedal by taking stuff apart, that can really slow you down a whole lot, and of course everyone's experience is bound to be slightly different with such a complex puzzle as this thing is. Still though, I would have to say that it was more fun putting this mechanoid together than the bigger XL version, and that's just because it's so much easier to do. All the tools that you'll need are included with the set, there's just three basic tools, and in addition to this bot having less than half of the total parts of his larger counterpart, he's also only got four servos or motors that you have to assemble yourself. And of course, I'm not counting the two motors in the feet because those ones do come pre-assembled, but rather the main joint servos. So whereas this little guy only has four, the bigger bot has eight. And putting those together can be a little bit confusing, at least until you kind of get the hang of it. Now, once you do get this guy fully assembled, there are several different ways that you can interact with him, just as with the XL mechanoid. So, for example, you can give him various voice commands like tell me a joke, do a dance, exercise, or even shake my hand, and he will respond in kind. And this guy also has the features that are new to this year's mechanoids, such as tell me a story, words of wisdom, and teach me something that neither of last year's bots had. And then, of course, there's the freely downloadable Mechanoid app that you can use with either your Android or iOS-based smart device. And with this app, you can do a few different things. My favorite is probably the Ragdoll Avatar feature, where you manipulate the small Mechanoid avatar on your screen and then save those manipulations as a command code string that you can then have your actual Mechanoid perform or carry out. It's actually pretty cool, and it's also educational because it is essentially computer, or in this case, robot programming, so a very cool feature there. Alternatively, you could place your phone in Mechanoid's chest and have him use its camera as a kind of eye with which to sort of follow your movements and then mimic what you do. So basically you wave your arms around like you're going nuts and Mechanoid tries to keep up with you. It's kind of fun and of course it all works because of Bluetooth which is how Mechanoid communicates with your smartphone. And then there is the ever-popular LIM, or Limb Movements, feature. And Limb just stands for Learned Intelligent Movements. And it basically means that Mechanoid's servos kind of have what you might call muscle memory. So basically, when you're recording a limb, you actually move his limbs all about however you wish, and later you can play it back, and Mechanoid will do all of those exact same movements all by himself. And you can even record sound as part of a limb, so the possibilities for fun are practically 
endless. In fact, I recently recorded a very fun wrestling-themed limb with the larger version of Mechanoid, where I had him basically cutting an 80s-style wrestling promo, challenging Hulk Hogan to a match at WrestleMania, complete with all of the crazy movements and whatnot, and it was a whole lot of fun to do, so the limb feature is definitely one of Mechanoid's best play patterns. Now, in a minute, I'll begin a short demo of Mechanoid carrying out some of his voice commands, and then I'll have Mechanoid himself come back and wrap up the video with a few final words. But before I cut to that, I just want to mention that I did have a fairly significant troubleshooting issue with this little Mechanoid, such that he kept on saying that he thought his LEDs weren't working, and then he would proceed to shut himself down until they were fixed. The only problem was that there was nothing wrong with his LEDs, they were properly connected and everything, and it took me just an absolute age to figure out what was wrong and to finally get him working again. In fact, I didn't think I was going to be able to shoot this video at all, because if there's some problem when the mechanoid goes through his systems checks, you really can't do much of anything at all with him after that. He does have what's called drone mode that you can use, but most of his best features, aside from the LIM movements, are not available in drone mode. So I had some issues with this guy for a little while, but thankfully he did finally cooperate in the end. So with that said, I do recommend this little bot, but again, do take note of the batteries. I found myself that with four brand new, albeit cheap, D-cell batteries, I got less than two days of total playtime with my Mechanoid, and that probably represents well under two hours in actual real-time play. So it's definitely something to be aware of. Now, I do suspect that he would probably last longer just telling jokes and stories than he did for me where I had him dancing around and doing other more strenuous activities. But anyway, now let's get on to the demo. Mechanoid. Exercise. Mechanoid. Do a dance. Mechanoid, I am always available. Do Kung Fu. 